Hi, this is Mr. Buffington, and as I was out feeding my chickens, of course it made me think about math. So, I was thinking that on Monday I got zero eggs from the chickens, on Tuesday I got one egg, on Wednesday I got three, on Thursday I got three again, and then on Friday I got two. So I could take those numbers and use them to find uh, the average number of eggs I'll be getting from my chickens. More specifically, I don't have to just find the average, I can find the mean, median, and the mode. So while I'm feeding the chickens, we're going to find the mean, median, and mode. Here they are. They've grown up quite a bit since the last time we saw them. So the average, or the mean, to find that we would add up all the numbers, so the amounts from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then divide them by five because there's five days. And to do that we would find out what the mean is, or the average. The median, to find the median we would have to put them in order, time to feed my chickens. To find the median we'd actually put them in order, so list them from least to greatest. And after we list them from least to greatest, then we would pick the number right in the middle. Like the median in a highway. It just sits right in the middle. It's like the median for the number of eggs that we're going to get. Now the mode is the number that appears the most. It's easy to remember if we think of it like mo they both have mo at the beginning of them. Mode and most. Let's give them some disgusting water here to drink with all sorts of food slop. Oh, they love it. So the mode from the, or let's first do the median. The median, we would list them all in order, pick the number right in the center. So we'd have 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, and the number right in the middle of those is 2. For the mode, we would list all the numbers, we have them all listed, and then we can say the number that we have the most of with 0, 1, 2, 3, 3 is actually 3. So by using that we can find the average number of eggs that we would get per day, or the mean, the median which is in the middle and that's 2, and the mode which is the number that appears the most and that's 3. Now, we'll use that information to try and make a bit of a prediction here. When I'm collecting the eggs, how many eggs am I going to get? Well, I've got four chickens, as you can see. So the most number of eggs I could possibly get is four. Um, so it's going to be some number between one and four. By all of the predictions and calculations that we've made today, we can see that it's probably going to be hmm, not quite four. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have in here. got our three laying beds and we get two eggs today. That's the case with making predictions. We're not always exactly right, but we had a pretty good idea we we're going to get somewhere between zero and three. <laughs> All right, so that's how I saw math when I was feeding my chickens. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later.